Because there's, we basically we've got one option, and the next option after that is to completely, completely yeah. take everything out, all the tiles out. Because like aesthetically, it might look a, well. We'll go through it tomorrow. You know, now we've got this far. I just want it to look right. Yeah. So, I mean, yeah. I suppose in a perverse sort of way, I thought, well, why not just put a tray in that looks the same as the one you just took out, and we just rebuild it that way. But then that kind of goes against what I was aiming to do. Yeah, yeah. Plus, I wouldn't want to fit a tray how they did it last time. They literally butted the tray up to the breeze block of your outside wall. Did they? Yeah, and I, I, I personally wouldn't do that. I, no, no, I okay. wouldn't want to put I, my I, name I, to that. Um, no, I, 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 this is what I said to you this morning. I'm, I'm worried about what you're going to uncover. So today we're starting a job that has been booked into the diary for about four months and with all the other jobs that I had run in, the customer was in no rush for it. So finally, we've got around to sorting it out or at least coming to start to try and sort it out. It is this shower. Now, let's just pop this fan off because we are still in halfway through a mini heat wave. So what we've got is a few things with this shower. One, the customer doesn't like the height of it, how high it is. A lot of these new build houses, they put these really high shower trays in with this lip on it. And sometimes I think they do it just because it's easier to do that than to take the time to set it down into the floor. So the customer wants a 40 mil tray, so it's gonna to come to about here. Also, you can notice on the tiles, I can reach in. Also you notice on the tiles and the grout in and the silicon in, there's a crack down that tile as well. He's just a little bit concerned. He thinks it's to do with the movement in the house because we've got a crack across the ceiling, um, but he just, He's just a little bit wary of what's been done, what's underneath it. So he basically wants the screen coming out, the tray coming out. We're going to take the bottom row of tiles off, depending on how far the boards are good behind it, is how far we're going to come up with the tiles. But because we're going to have a lower tray, we're going to have to put another row of tiles on the bottom there. So first things first, we've got to get the screen out, get the bottom row of tiles off and have a look and see exactly what's going on with this shower job. It will be a can of worms, trust me. If it isn't, I'll be very surprised. Most shower jobs are like kicking a can of worms. If there's water got behind, depending on how high it's come up behind the tiles, we'll have to see. So let's start off by getting the screen out. Right, welcome back to the channel. Hope everybody is doing well. I've had the first phone call of the year to do with heating systems now that the weather has sort of changed. You'll see from this video, it was filmed about two or three weeks ago and it was red hot. We had a bit of a heat wave in the UK just going to the start or middle of September. I filmed this video then. Today, when I'm filming this intro, I had a phone call this morning from a customer of mine. Um, he, he asked me at the start of the year actually to fit a radiator in a little area of his house that always gets cold and I said to him, yep, yeah, I get it done over the summer, completely forgot. Obviously this morning the weather, or over this weekend, the weather's dipped a little bit. So he's been straight on the phone this morning saying to me, can you get round and get that radiator done for me before it gets really cold? So yeah, every plumber, this is what we know as silly season now, every pr plumber's phone will be going mad in the next couple of weeks as people are turning boilers on, realizing pumps aren't working, valves are stuck boilers need servicing so yeah we're about to hit silly season so anyway today's video is a perfect example of keeping the customer up to date i speak to the customer at the tail end of this video on the job and i filmed actually speaking to him because i wanted to i wanted to put on camera what how i approach something like this with the customer and it, it's a, a perfect sort of real world plumbing scenario Stickers have been made up, look. Real world plumbing scenario of um, how to speak to a customer, how to give them the options of what you're gonna do or what you propose to do with a job that escalates um, quite a bit. So hopefully you'll find this video interesting. If you do, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. This is part one, part two is gonna be, um, it's gonna be the next video on the channel. I hope you enjoy it, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, all that sort of stuff, and I will catch you soon. So first things first, we'll go around the screen getting all these caps off and getting all the screws out 
I'm so behind here and there should be some behind this door here. Get all the caps off, get the screws out, split the screen, and then what we'll do is take the screen out from the profiles, get this out of the way, and then see if we can get these profiles off. So, let's start by getting all these caps off. Right then, we've got all the screws out from the profiles, as you can see down here, all the way along, up, all of them out, all of them, and obviously all of them. Now, what should happen now is, yeah, there you go, that profile's loose away from that one. It should, let's give it a little pull. Yeah, it's loose against the wall. So what I'm gonna do is get this frame out now, leaving the two profiles in position, and then we can look at getting them off where the tiles are. Now they're either going to come off fine or they're going to be a pain. So let's get this out of the way first and we'll have a look at them. Right, let's see if we can get, because of this lip on the bottom of the tray, these may be slightly awkward to get out. So let's go like that. And then lift if we can. So with the screen out of the way now, I've just had a look and I think we're going to be in up with these profiles. So put a bead of silicon down the front as everyone does, never put the bead of silicon in the back. I, as you may know, silicon the back of these profiles, which is fine, but getting them off can be a pain. However, this one hasn't been silicon behind, it's only that silicon on the front holding it on. So look at that. So all we've got to do is run a knife down the front and they'll come off as well. So all those people that say to me in the comments when I put a bead of silicon down the back and they always go, don't silicon the profiles and that is why, so they come off a lot easier. But to be honest, I like to silicon behind them just so I know they're all right. So these will come up straight forward. We'll just slice the front, get them out, and then we can begin and look at the tray. So that's the screen out, profiles are off. So glad they came off because they can be a right pain. Um, I've sort of had a look around this tray and I'm really shocked that they've never had any leakage issues or anything downstairs. And I think it's down to having this lip because as you can see on the back, the tiles are sat on top of the tray in front of this lip. So if ever there's been any issues or the majority of it, if there's been any issues, would have got onto the tray and found its way out. Now, if you look here, obviously there's a big gap in the silicon here. That crap that I said about, you can hear these tiles are loose, but also down here, there's a big gap behind where the profile went. Um, I always like to put a bead of silicon down the back of there, as, as I've shown in different videos. But yeah, I'm massively surprised there's never been an issue. I've took the trim off the bottom. Um, let's whip out these. We'll put in, it's not fixed, is it? But we'll put in place to hold the trim panel. No. And then we can have a look under the tray and see what it's like. Because the new tray, we want to um, get as low as possible. So we've got a board here that may have to come out. Waste is going over to there from this point here. Okay, it's fairly straightforward. What we've got to do now then is obviously disconnect the waste. Then we've got to take this bottom row of tiles off because, as I said, it sits on top of the lip here. So. We, we know that bottom row of tiles is going to be scrapped. So the tile has got new tiles for that, but we have got to obviously get some more tiles because the new tray is going to sit down here. Right, let's start getting these off. 
So I'm going to start with this one here just because um, working from there backwards is going to be a lot easier. So I don't think it's going to take much persuading to get off. I want to try and not damage that one above if I can, just in case. Ah, there we go. We'll go through this one instead. just towel now by pushing that I think we're gonna have some board issues behind oh, yeah. right let's have a look at this you can smell instant you can smell that dampness so let's get this one out This could be that can of worms I was talking about. Right then, we've cleaned it up around it and just to have a good look. When I first seen this bit here, I thought they tanked it, um, but they haven't. That is just a film from when it was put in that the uh, plumber didn't, didn't take off after, before putting the tray in and before boarding and tiling. So yeah, just goes to show these new build houses are literally just thrown up. I think this house is probably 15 years old so when we say new build it's it's that sort of era uh yeah as you can see massive big gaps down the back there where the boarding is that i think what they've done they boarded it and then chopped this tray in afterwards i don't know so what we're going to do now i've took the waste out the top here so the tray is pretty free so i'm going to try and try and somehow maneuver it out it's obviously fixed in the toil there fixed in the tile there so Something's got to give, it may be that end, but we'll fiddle it around now and try and get it out. I think it's going to be that side. Right, let's have a bit of a fiddle and get this tray out of its position that it's in at the minute. I'm going to try. It's literally about three now to try and get that out, but I just think we're going to lose the edge of that. Tile. Yeah, unfortunately, we had to take the side of that tile out and just to get the lip of that out because it was wedged at that point and that point. So, to pull the tray out, lift it up, and see what we've got underneath. To be fair, I think. Too bad at all. Right, there we go. That is the base. That's probably the best bit they've done. Um, yeah, but what we're going to have to do because we've got a low level tray going in, we're going to have to take this board off and see what's going on underneath, probably to alter the waste as well. But let's get this original tray out now, have a good clean up, and see exactly what's going on with the state of the tiles and that behind. I do think, I mean, this was quite damp so i'm going to let the tyler i'm going to get speak to nathan the tyler and just see what he suggests with that whether we go up another course of tiles um we'll have to see but let's get this out first so we've got the tray out of the way now what i'm going to do is cut this waste I'm just, it'll, it's got a little bit of giving it so i'm going to lift it cut that elbow off it and then we can get this blue baseboard out of the way because even though it is perfect to have, but because it's sat up slightly, the tray we want is going to sit flush with the floor. They don't want the lip on it at all. Um, also, the Antico flooring is cut literally 1200, but we've got to address this little issue of the gap to the main wall, to the actual outside wall and the boarding. So let's get this out of the way and then I'll drop that and let you know exactly 
what the slight issue is with that wall. See, can of worms, I told you, didn't I? Can of worms. Right, the shower area now is completely cleared out. Um, I'm gonna try and explain to you what the issue is here. So, let's work on these tiles here. Let's pretend that these tiles are in the trays in, so we're gonna work our measurements off these tiles. Now, what we've got going in is a 1200 by 800 tray, which is what came out. Now, this is the, uh, this is the tricky bit. So if we work off this back edge for a 1200 tray, so let's take 10 mil off there for the tile back to the wall before it's pre-tiled, if you like. Imagine that was it, so it's gonna be 1900, because this is 1 1.2 here for the tray, 1200 tray. So if we go back, it's gonna be here where my finger is. Now, this from here to here is where the profile's gonna go. Obviously there's nothing there, there's no tile there. And the problem with that is, there's no tile there, and the reason for that is because the old tray was sunk back nearly 40 mil against the breeze block of the house. So that just creates a bit of a dilemma here where the profile's gonna go. Because what I'm gonna do is get this boarded straight down, get this boarded straight down, and then that's where the tray is gonna go in. So the tray is gonna work off this and off this, but it's just gonna throw everything out. The same as here. This is our point here, so we've gotta make up this little bit um, to be able to fix the screen to, because you don't want the screen on here, and then obviously it's got nothing to fix to there. If that makes sense, uh, it's just a bit of a headache. So, also the Antico flooring, give or take, that is exactly where we want it. Um, but yeah, the marks on the wall, this where my thumb is now is going to be the very edge where the shower screen profile is going to go. You usually come in about 10 mil, but it's still, it's still going to be about here. We're still going to have an issue with it. So I'm just waiting for Nathan, my tiger, to turn up and we're going to go through a few little options, even if we put like a, a decorative trim up there maybe, take this chrome off, put a decorative bit of tile maybe to here, up, the same that side, and then um, and then we sh it should work, but because they had the tray butted up against the main outside wall, the breeze block wall, it's caused a bit of a pain. And also, getting that tray out, we did break that, we did say it, there's gonna be an issue, so we're gonna, he's gonna have to replace that and that one as well. And to be fair, where the old tray was cut in here, Probably better off replacing them too as well to get it finished right. So yeah, hope I've explained that bit enough for you to understand. But um, it, it basically that bits that little bit there where they've sunk the tray right back in originally and just fitted it clean to the wall has given us a bit of a nightmare. So let's wait for Nathan Tyler and see what our options are about getting over that. So as you'll have seen, this job did end up being a can of worms. Now, I waited for Nathan the Tyler to come out and we went through a few options with him um, on how we could address the issue with the tiles and the profiles because the tray's been moved out. So we came to a bit of a decision and then the next thing to do was to ring the customer. And I thought I would film me speaking to the customer in real time so it gives you an idea of how I personally speak to customers and give them... T tell them what's gone on because the, the customer wasn't there tell them what's gone on and give them them two options of what they want to do so i just thought i'd add this and just drop in the comments let me know if you found it interesting seeing that side of it the side where i'm relaying to the customer about the job uh because as i always say it's real world plumbing it, it's a, a lot of the time this doesn't get shown this side of it doesn't get shown where you're talking to the customer and going through them options it's usually just a video of from start to finish and if ever i've had a, a conversation with a customer it's usually been off camera um but yeah let me know what you think drop me a comment below and tell me if you think it's something i should probably do a bit more of within the videos that i make so hope you enjoy it um and as i said i think at the start of the video part two is coming on the next video so make sure you're subscribed are you about, you're not about for the rest of the day, David, are you? Um, 
Because it's probably something easier to show you physically. Yeah, okay. All right. are, you here, are you here tomorrow? I can be, but I need to be here at 9.30 because I've got somebody starting tomorrow, right. which I need to be here for. Could you be here first thing, though, just to go through it? About 8 Or not? Yeah, I suppose we could, yeah. Or half eight, or something like half that. Half eight? No, I'd have to be about eight. About eight? Yeah. Okay. If Just so that we're both here and we can talk you through it, it's easier to talk yeah, through okay. than it is to try and yeah. explain it and then you well, have a look at let it. Me, let me ask you another question then. Go on. So, have you reached a point then where you can't really do much more? Yeah, I can't get the train until the boards are down. Nate, obviously, yeah. he's got other jobs on, so he can't get the boarding down to whenever he can do it. Um, yeah, okay. And then obviously you need to order some more tiles as well. Absolutely, so we can yeah. we can go through first thing tomorrow if you want us to. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I mean if if you if you're okay with that, can we do that? Is that all right with you, Nate? Yeah. Eight o'clock tomorrow. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. We won't take long. Right. Let's yeah. do that then. And okay. then you can tell me exactly what I need to order yeah. so I don't fuck it up. Yeah. <laughs> But yeah. I don't want to be doing that, yeah. so I just want to make sure that, you know, from my perspective, I know what it's like when you're trying to do a job, yeah. and then somebody else orders something or doesn't order something, and it screws the whole thing yeah, up, so I want yeah. to get it right for you guys, so you're not dicking around. Yeah, because there's we basically, we've got one option, and the next option after that is to completely, completely yeah. take everything, out, all the tiles out, and, and do it that way, but, yeah, yeah. we because we're, we're, aesthetically, it might look a well, we'll go through tomorrow. We'll meet yeah, up at eight o'clock okay. tomorrow morning. We can go through it. Yeah, You'll I obviously. Want it to look, yeah. I want it to look right. That's yeah. what, you know. Now we've got this far. I just want it to look right. Yeah. So, I mean, yeah. I suppose in a in a perverse sort of way, I thought, well, why not just put a tray in that looks the same as the one you just took out, and we just rebuild it that way. But then that kind of goes against what I was aiming to do. Yeah, yeah. Plus, I wouldn't want to fit a tray how they did it last time. They literally butted the tray up to the breeze block of your outside wall. Did they? Yeah, and I, I, I personally wouldn't do that. I, no, no, I wouldn't okay. want to put I, I, my name into that. Um, no, but I, and I, this is what I said to you this morning. I'm, I'm worried about what you're going to uncover. <laughs> to be honest, it's, it's not like what we've uncovered. It isn't that bad. It's just the knock-on effect of how they have done it originally. They've done it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Let's get it right once yeah. and for all. Okay. Do a proper job. That's what I want. Sorted. Okay. Right. We will okay. see you here tomorrow about at eight. Cool. Thanks, mate. Okay, really cheers, David. Yeah, and to Nathan. Cheers. No worries. See you tomorrow. No worries. Cheers, boys. Bye. Bye.